That's what happens when you park your car on our property right there, man. And not my car. So before this video gets started, I do want to mention that we just dropped some brand new t-shirts on the website. It's been a minute since we dropped something because we've been so busy, but you know what? We dropped something super fire, super simple and clean. It's got a pocket right here with the Goon Squad logo on the front. On the back, it's just nice and clean. This is super comfortable right here, super lightweight, perfect for the summertime. So if you want to copy one of these very limited t-shirts, be sure to visit goonsquad.com and help support your boys. But as of right now, let's get to the video. <laughs> What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here up on the mountain at the new Goon Squad headquarters. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we ended up doing a little bit of work to the barn. We finished up like the rest of that interior wall about halfway and the rest of it we're gonna knock out with some corrugated steel, which we're probably gonna save that for a little bit later. And also previously you seen where we finally went to the new Goon Squad garage and we started doing some dirt work over there. Joe ended up coming out with his whole entire crew and he brought out the newest piece of technology, the Metallic, which was just absolutely insane with that thing is just capable of and that's exactly what we're gonna do right now is actually probably put that machine to work a little bit more and of course they brought out the bulldozer and of course another big old excavator and they're gonna bring in loads of like gravel and maybe some dirt and everything and this is one of the most exciting things for us right now because this is gonna allow us to actually just crank out some super epic builds so we really want to knock this out because this is the final step in order to pass the final inspection over there and of course we got the frame machine over there we got a bunch of lifts we just gonna have some epic stuff happening over there let me Dude, just tell you that you right got there, that that right so as you can tell guys we are just super excited this has been a super long yes. project of ours so this the final stages are the most exciting dude. exactly and there's not much more left to go because joe is moving pretty quick so this is another super exciting thing it's probably going to be finished up maybe in like a week or so and then we got a little bit of interior work in there as well the office but that's going to be super easy stuff that we can take care of a little bit later yes, sir. but as of right now i say we go ahead run down the mountain run to the new goon squad garage and just show you guys what's happening guys so it is actually the next day here and yesterday it was a little bit late in the afternoon but you know what they still got some work done they basically just graded this whole entire drive right here this is where the pavement is going to go and look at that slope right there that is perfect right there of course we can pull in some low cars there is going to be a little bit more crusher run that's going to go over the top just to fine grade everything but that's going to be a little bit later and this morning what they started doing is basically clearing out like that fence line over there and a bunch of overgrown brush and that is actually our property over there we kind of got like a nice rectangle so might as well clean it up and also our swell is going to run over there so we're going to probably work on both sides of it so got to do this right now and also as you can tell it's a little high right there so we might have the bulldozer guy go in there and kind of flatten it out 
He already cleaned cleaned up that back fence over there, right? And I think we're gonna clean up probably all the fence. What do you think about yeah, that? Yeah, I think dude? that's exactly what we're gonna do, especially on the back end over there because they're gonna start straightening yeah. everything out. So we kind of want the, the back end mainly cleaned out, yeah. dude. And that's gonna look super cool with all those trees just gone and that fence just gone because we are gonna throw up our own privacy fence probably out of some corrugated steel. And of course, uh, we got the bulldozer guy running in the back over there just flattening everything out. We had some old dirt piles over there and they brought in one load of some topsoil. So we are almost getting ready for like some fine grading and all that good stuff. We got two trash cans out here. One is already full. The other one is just getting ready for the next load right there. So there's a bunch of cleanup, but there is only one issue that we are running into right now with this cleanup. And there is one car, as you can tell, that golden Cadillac over there. It's kind of it's kind of on our property. And we actually talked to the owner over there, the neighbor, about moving it about a month ago because we told him we were going to be doing some stuff. And he kind of just like, just kind of just brushed us off. And I guess he didn't want to move it. And I guess we might just have to take matters into our own hands. What dude, do you we may say, have dude? to give it a little nudge. And I think it's a foot in the property line and we got to clean that out with the bulldozer. So we may end up just giving it a little nudge with the excavator, or dude. we might jump inside, see if there's a battery in there. Or drive it up. Put a booster box to it, see if it'll fire up, We may dude. not even have a motor. We definitely have to go over there and just check it out. Definitely need hey. it out of the way as soon as possible. Exactly, dude. let's just go over there and take a look at it. Probably in there. there. Is. Oh, shoot. Ooh, that thing up. That's an LS, a sideways LS, dude. That is. No way. What? That is an LS1, dude. Is it really? It's a Cadillac Chevy. Dude, that's crazy. Pop, if you think you need to... Lister. Lister. Is, is there, there's a battery in it. Where's the cable? Oh, you have a gear chain on there. They're just disconnected. Dude, if this thing runs, you might have to drift around. You cheat that. Oh, if we had a booster, it'll start. We got a booster box in the Ford. Go grab a booster box. 32 valve North Star. Hey, the gas cap popped open, dude. What? This thing got an electric gas cap. This thing is top of the line, look dude. The, look at the knob right here. Woo joystick play video game right so pops is trying to throw on two booster boxes on it we might try to start it instead of nudging it i think that'd be the nicer thing to do yeah but i don't think it even has a starter on this thing dude the starter may have been removed it's you just, think so there's nothing like, i think the cat was definitely removed i think that's what the neighbor said he gave us a little bit of information about it but look at them seats though dude, dude. man a caddy man it's better than that ct5v we dude, got it dude it honestly looks comfortable they have to do an engine swap with pops this is thing saying give it a whirl it's not doing anything no Nothing, dude. This thing is pretty sweet, dude. But if it don't run, it ain't no to good. Just, it ain't no good. Hey, You're gonna have to nudge If it don't it. run, it ain't no fun. That's what. That's exactly what I was telling the but, owner. But dude. I know what would be fun: pushing this thing about a foot, and getting it off it. our property. That's right. That's probably what we're. If this thing don't start, we're definitely gonna just give it a little nudge.
folks right there is why you don't park your car on other people's property there. It's just gonna get nudged and it's gonna turn into a budge and then it's gonna turn into a crush. I think we just had a miscommunication with the excavator driver because we said, just push it about a foot and he hit the wrong joystick. I think or, he, or, uh, one or the other, dude. He hit like three different buttons and it put a little scratch in the hood, dude. He hit one button, I think it was the pancake button and it just completely just collapsed that pancake thing, Pancake that thing up and then he, of course, had a little bit of help out of that cat over there, kind of helped dude. Uh, take the dent out a little bit, but it actually went He tried to fix something. it with the bulldozer, but it made it worse, you know yeah, what I mean? so I, I don't know, Pops took it to the mechanic shop. He's gonna figure it out before we take it back to him, dude. Yeah, we're probably gonna <laughs> just fix it and take it back to the neighbor without him knowing that anything happened but you know what it's finally off our property so that's the most important thing yes, and now sir. we can just continue right there but that thing was a beast dude it was like a i think it was a cadillac de, de elegance deville dude deville de elegance dude. that thing was pretty sweet right there the color the interior everything it was Gold kind of addition it was a kind of a shame that it happened like that but you know what it had to happen but the real reason why we destroyed that thing is because we talked to the neighbor. He's super cool. And we ended up actually purchasing that sucker for 600 bucks. And we're gonna scrap it for like somewhere around 500, I'm thinking. So 100 bucks right there we're losing. But I think it's 100 bucks and it's worth, uh, worth hey, man. 100 bucks for fun. Dude. 100 bucks for fun. Everybody had fun, especially the guy that was crushing it, man. I bet he had fun. Dude, man. that was crazy when he was on top of it with that bulldozer. Dude, dude that was super dude, crazy. Flattened dude. it out right there. It almost got a little topsy turvy, man. It went on the side yes, right there, sir. dude. And uh, there was one guy that was taking parts off of that thing while we were destroying it, which that was cool right there. Yeah, he's like, let me get this bulb out of here. And I was like, go ahead, take it. It's about to get scratched, but it's off our lot. It's yes. now we can go ahead and work around it. And uh, it, we everybody had fun. Dude. Exactly, yep. And uh, I think both of our dumpsters are already filled up. I think they're gonna start tearing apart some of that silt fence right there first. They're gonna move on to the rest of the trees and we're gonna flatten out some more stuff. Just get more dirt work done. So it is the next day here. It is beautiful. Once again, it's been a beautiful week, but uh, I'm gonna take a look at what they got done yesterday because I took off a little bit early, but Elazar was here. He recorded some of it. So I'm gonna kind of just walk around the building. I guess he's gonna be doing some bulldozing work over there, take care of that corner over there. Let's check this side out over here. Oh my goodness, this is just beautiful. Look at that. Imagine this right here, a bunch of sod. That's gonna look unreal. I'm gonna keep on walking. This is that good topsoil too right here. This that grass is gonna love it. I'll tell you that right there. We could have a whole little cornfield if we wanted to on this side. Maybe a wheat field. Some tall, tall grass. Let's check it out over here. Beautiful. Very beautiful. This is just outstanding. This looks crazy. Definitely gotta tear up the rest of these uh, fence right here, that fence line. Just the fence all the way around the whole entire building. Can't wait to put up a new one here, but I guess I'm gonna capture some more of this dirt work here and we'll see what happens.
Jules. Come here, girl. Look at her. Look at her ear about to pop up. Yep, one of them standing up. She is so just fluffy, man. She's getting fluffier by the day. Dude, every day her ear, that one ear stands up a little bit more. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Are you excited? Oh, you're so excited. Oh, my goodness. But anyways, stuff is happening over here. They ended up actually knocking down a tree in the back. Yep. And then they ended up going ahead and pulling out that whole entire fence along that side. Good. They're about to pull out the front fence today as well. I think so, right? Yep. The, all the fence is going so up. And every, fence, scrap it. every fence is going up. And then I guess they're going to run the bulldozer around one more time, get everything nice and level. Then they're going to probably pull up some concrete over here, right? Exactly. Yeah. We're going to pull up as much concrete as we possibly can because we're going to plant sod around this whole entire thing and we want it to grow. If you have concrete underneath some topsoil and there's not enough topsoil, it might not grow. Yeah. We definitely want want it to be luscious and green that way we could drift the 370z or all of our builds around the building or just have green grass is just good you know what i mean oh, i want to drift like, dude you can drift maybe bring the four wheeler out drift in the dirt but you know when no, you yeah, have pups true. out here too you know they need some grass and that's stuff a like very that, good you know? point Once yeah we have our guard dog in here it's going to be nice and green dude. exactly so mud flap is actually about to take lunch <laughs> right quick that's what that's his nickname that's crazy dude. so he's going to take lunch and then he's going to come back pull all this up and then i guess he's going to use the excavator and start chopping away on some of this concrete some good Mexican food and this is the money that we got from that car that was on our property so this is why you shouldn't park your car on our property because you know what will happen we'll scrap that sucker we'll get the money and we'll turn it into tacos and this is exactly I think like 400 380 bucks almost 400 bucks was a little bit of a loss there but not really you know what I mean we had fun at the end of the day so it wasn't a hundred difference it was a two hundred dollar difference but you know what also think about taking this money and buying another car from our neighbor and uh destroying that. How about that neighbor? Take that neighbor. Alrighty guys, so that's gonna be pretty much a wrap for today's video. We got the guy on the excavator, just keep going ham over there. He's gonna keep on tearing some more of that concrete up. Got all the fence back over in that area, completely tore up. All we really got left is just a little bit over there, which that's gonna be probably in the next one. We're gonna save that. I don't know if we're gonna actually be able to capture all this on film, but we're gonna update you guys. But so far, everything is just turning out absolutely amazing. That corner over there is turning out real nice. Got a bunch of like piles of scrap and a bunch of other trash and whatnot. But in the next one, I think what they're gonna do is go ahead and actually complete the dirt work 100% and do all the fine grading. And then they're gonna bring in some crusher run right here. They're also gonna straw and seed all the dirt areas. And then I think we're gonna get ready for some pavement and have a big old just drift spot right here, dude. dude Donut pad, that right. man. Dude, I can't wait to finally have some sort of pavement down. It's going to be yes, amazing, sir. It's going to be super wild, but you guys are going to have to stay tuned. Make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.